Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again for another run and we'll see what we can get, see which character we end up playing as. I'm hoping for like a Tainted Maggie run, that'd be pretty dope. But Tainted Judas is also quite my style. I will take it and I will take it happily. Where the hell is that boy? There he is. Cool, Tainted Judas, he's a character that's always going to be fun. And also I kind of prefer playing the Tainted characters at the minute because they have um, extra unlocks from, what's it called? From Repentance Plus. So I'm always happy to grab one of these boys. But for the question of the day today, my question is, what game do you really wish would get a remaster or sequel? For me, I've, told, I've spoken a little bit about this game before, and it kind of is like, oh, sad that we don't have Book of Belial. We're not playing as regular Judas, because otherwise this would be cracked. Oh, that was close. Um, but for me, I've sort of spoken about this game before, but it's a PS2 game that I really like called Cell Damage Overdrive. Um, that's essentially like a, a cartoon sort of really funky little um, demolition derby game with like Mario style power-ups and different game modes like racing, capture the flag and stuff. It was just a hell of a lot of fun and I've been playing it a bit recently because it's a, it's a game that I tend to play a good amount with my uh, old flatmate whenever she comes over. We just have a a good time playing it in split screen, but I kind of wish it would get a remaster for two reasons. One, I would love it if it had more maps available, but also two, I'd love if it had an actual online multiplayer. That game with an online multiplayer would be absolutely amazing. Like, the co-op is already so fun, so I can only imagine how good an online multiplayer would be on that game. I will pop this pill. It is a tears down. Honestly, it's it's not good. I'm not happy with a tears down, obviously, but I'm not super displeased because honestly, we just got a pretty big damage up and the Dark Arts really does make things a lot easier for us. So I'm not going to pretend like it's a huge issue. Um, secret room wise, I'm going to do this room to see if I can get a key. Hey, I did get a, a fella here. Damn it, I tried my best. We did get a lot of HP there, though. I just walked right into you and lost a HP because I thought Dark Arts was ready, and it wasn't. But we did get the virus, which I... Does the virus work alongside Dark Arts? I don't actually know. I would guess not, but it might. Okay, I think Secret Room's here. I'm fairly sure. It is indeed. Good, good. Uh, we get ourselves a few pennies. There's a chance we can open this bad boy. Let's let's give it a go. Let's. It could take up to seven coins, but it could take less. Let's give it a whirl. Come on, don't don't do this to me. You little thick sponge. It can take between one and seven coins, and it took six. You. That's very frustrating. Let's see if I can get an extra penny out of all of these. Like. I know that this is going to be dull to watch, but there you go, it doesn't matter. We, I, 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 I did, kind of continued on with my sentence before I'd even seen the result there, but we got we got what we wanted. Um, we'll push forward, and this should open this in just one crack. It did, and we got Luck Foot. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, <clears throat> luck Foot means that we can take pills and be pretty happy with the result pretty much every time, and it should hopefully mean that that tears down I got isn't going to affect us for too long here. I was really hoping I'd hit the uh, the little dudes here, but I missed both of them. Okay. Oh my god. Am I just terrible at this game? Is that is that just what the deal is here? To be fair, I don't mind getting hit, really, because I have managed to, like, get a hell of a lot of HP on this floor. I've lost um, a soul heart and a half to just some really dumb damage. A virus hit on you. Okay, so I've lost two soul hearts now to some really dumb damage, but... It was two soul hearts that I wouldn't have had otherwise, so I'm just going to pretend that they never existed. Um, we might get a black heart out of you. We didn't, but we did get another uh, thingy, another syringe. A little bit unfortunate we didn't get a key because I was hoping to go straight to downpour. We are trying to do mother on this run. Um, if we don't end up going for mother, though, I don't mind. We don't really have to go with the suggested path at the minute. I'm loving the amount of speed we have right now. Apparently, you can open these with dark hearts. You've just got to be very careful about it. You've got to go like... There you go, like that. Okay, thank you for whoever told me about that. I wasn't sure exactly who it was. But yeah, if you exit Dark Arts on um, things like that, then they do you, you, you are able to steal them. I didn't actually know, and that makes Dark Arts even better than I already thought it was. So at the minute, I'm kind of hoping for um, as many pills as we can get our hands on, because I would like um, many of the tier-ups. I'm not a big fan of this situation we're in right now. Okay, there. It's fine. Got him with the exit damage. 
and boom bow. There you go. <clears throat> Another penny in our pocket. Oh, did we kill both the elites then? We didn't quite, but we got them both now. And getting the little butthole dude that sprays, um, there you go, there's a pill. Uh, a little butthole dude that sprays enemies everywhere. Which is, it's just good to get him dead. This little dude here. None of your butthole shenanigans, please. I do not fancy them. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other games that I'd really want, like, sequels to. Of course, like, there's the... Oh, I thought I could sneak past there. I most certainly could not. Um, obviously, there's the obvious answer of, like, Half-Life 3. I've just recently played through Half-Life 1 and 2, and I can wholeheartedly say I'm on the bandwagon of wanting a Half-Life 3, because those games are real good. Um, I don't know why it took me quite so long to play through them. I think it was one of those things where it was, like, it's kind of like with GTA San Andreas and stuff. I never really played through the story of that game or any of the older games because you kind of get to a point where you're like, oh, I think I'm past it. I think the age will, like, make it not as fun because I never played it in its prime sort of thing. But I bit the bullet. I went and played through the um, Half-Life games, Half-Life 1 and 2, and I'm playing through Half-Life 2 Episode 1 at the moment with Never Named. And I have to say I'm very glad that I did because I'm thoroughly, thoroughly... Well, I say I'm thoroughly enjoying them. We've completed 1 and 2 now, so... Still no key, which is really starting to piss me off a bit because it looks like we're not going to get item room or get to go to mother so unless we get lucky and get a latch key here i think we're a bit shit out of luck but kind of annoying you can go two full floors and get zero keys but that's just the way the cookie crumbles i guess right steven here if you give me a damage up i'd be super super jazzed we'll see if that ends up coming to fruition I don't think Steven's that difficult. I think there is some changes with um, the Eternal Enemies mod that makes him fire up more shots when he dies, though. If I, I remember seeing something about that in the uh, change logs. So we'll see if that's the case. Let's just be prepared just in case. Ah! My goodness. Oh, lordy lord. Oh, lordy lord. We got little Steven here. Oh, by the way. I've actually just realized something. I'm not using the difficulty mods on this run because I disabled them for a mod showcase and forgot to re-enable them. So they're just off for this run. Eternal enemies and the uh, extra boss armor mods are currently off. And they might have even been off for the last run. But yeah, unfortunately, no mother for us. We did not get the opportunity, so... <clears throat> Good fun. Tally her. Goodbye. And we also missed out on an item room, but that should hopefully yield a planetarium at least. There's at least some decent reason to skip out on that. <clears throat> Hopefully we get ourselves a bomb for that. But yeah, I think the difficulty mods are off right now. Uh, that being the uh, extra boss armor and eternal enemies. So I do apologize about that. Um, but it, it, is, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just forgot to turn them back on. I, I turned them off for my uh, showcase. Ooh, baby. That's a very, very nice uh, broken crown there. Crack crown, whatever you want to call it. Okay, you go down easily too. Little Steven here is pretty nice. He does a good bit of damage. Especially when our damage right now is relatively weak. I wouldn't say we've got bad damage by any means, but it's still nothing to be super proud about. Nothing to write home about. Oh, there's our key. We finally got one. So we can at least get into our item room on this floor, but of course, doesn't mean we can go to downpour. That ship has indeed sailed. Okay. So let's not destroy the other poops. He has to come down the middle. We got a devil box here. We got a black sack out of it. We did get a pill out of it, which is hopefully pretty nice. Like eh, it's good to it's good to discover, but it's not actually good. And then these guys, the moors, bit annoying. But yeah, like I, I've I've obviously, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been pre-recording this series somewhat, so I haven't been getting direct feedback. Um, this, the series has already started, um, the, or, or season two, whatever you want to call it, has already started on the YouTube channel. So people have seen like the first three episodes at this point, but I've got like a week's backlog or so, so it's a it's a little behind for me. So I'm, I've not really seen what people think of the difficulty mods yet. I really hope people enjoy them. If people really don't, though, I can disable them. I'm not averse to it. Um, if people would prefer it to be a bit more vanilla in terms of difficulty. I just thought I'd add something to sort of spice up the regular style and make, make runs not like guaranteed wins. Okay, got you lot. I'm so glad we got Crack Crown here. Crack Crown is going to help a lot. Uh, does it affect the damage that we get from Dark Arts, I wonder? This was a very, very big mistake that I somehow got out of. I kind of trapped myself in a little avenue full of enemies there and... Um, 
Yeah, I don't really know why I did that. Okay, so we got another Tinted Rock here. We've actually got two bombs, so we can take care of the previous and this one. So we'll just plop, plop a bomb there for now. We got a crawl space out of that as well. That's super, super beautiful. We'll pop in here. Oh, ho, 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 yes, baby. The compound fracture, you'll see. I love the compound fracture. And what we get here. Um, ooh, intriguing, intriguing. So I don't think that prayer card is all that good for us, to be honest. While we don't currently have an active... Uh, where was the uh, Tinted Rock? There it was. Well, while we don't currently have an active... Uh, that's more bombs, I guess. Okay. We don't really need um, Eternal Hearts because they're just not that useful for us. So I will try and do some re-rolling here. Obviously, as you can see, there's some danger to re-rolling. At least a meager amount. Milk is definitely not uh, not very good for us here. I'm just going to bomb it. Why not? And I've literally got two of my favorite items in the entire game. I got Compound Fracture and Fruitcake. If you guys take a look at the um, tinted Bethany thumbnail with the Lemmageddon Wisps around it, the Turtle Melon version that I use for the thumbnail, it literally has Car Battery, Fruitcake, and Compound Fracture around it because those are some of my favorite vanilla items. Uh, so super, 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 super duper happy to have both of those items. It's um, of, of, of my vanilla items, they are definitely some of my favorites. So it's super cool to have them. And it should... Especially fruitcake should increase our damage by quite a quite a number, quite a pretty penny. Boom, bow. This is actually pretty good for us. Although I won't use the pills yet because I think telepills are still in rotation. Eden Soul is pretty nice to grab here. Um, we might be able to try and do Mega Satan here. Actually, let's give it a go. Why not? Probably should have tried to at least destroy some of these blue fires, but uh, well, I'm hoping at least one of the. Uh, at least one of the things that we got pills in the other room is a tears up, because our tears are definitely feeling a little rough right now. I think we've got a bugger tear on him there. We've got a few bugger tears. Maybe an explosivo? Yeah, explosivo. So we'll grab that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Tears up. Tears up. I can see forever. And puberty. That went very well. We can go back and quickly check for this sort of stuff. So we've got golden bombs here. I don't think... Do we have a use for golden bombs within this floor? I don't think so. Um, cat bomb my donation machine. I'm honestly... I think I'm just going to not fill my donation machine. Like, ever. I think um, I'm going to... I'm going to play it and pretend my donation machine never exists. Because I, I just... I use it as a crutch way too much. A crutch too much. Uh, I will try and play this guy because it'd be awesome to get an item to reroll. But it's looking unlikely. Oh, we don't, to be fair, a key out of it's pretty good. But yeah, I use I use the donation machine as a crutch way too much, so I'm planning on just not filling it, I think. I don't know what you guys think about that. Maybe it's uh, nerfing myself a little too much. But I am trying to play a slightly harder series here, where I up the difficulty for myself somewhat, despite the fact I don't have my difficulty mods on right now. But you know what I mean. I did think that, I think it was the last episode, the bosses were dying very, very quickly. Um, oh, we got a, a card there that we unfortunately cannot reach. Beautiful. Dark Arts is the best. That was a... I'm going to say, that was a very bad hit. I said that it was a very bad hit before I even knew I was going to get hit. Libra, you cheeky bastard. Um, I'll do a Libra run. Why not? Hey, that's actually pretty good. Because we had such high speed, everything else got a pretty big bonus. <clears throat> so we are lacking health at the minute, but do remember... Fruitcake can give you some HP drops um, through various tier types. It's not super common, but it does happen. And there's going to be Tinted Rocks galore as well. I have noticed after picking up um, Libra a significant amount more lag. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's because it's like constantly trying to recalculate my skills or something. My skills, my stats. <clears throat> that is a door mimic, I see you. I almost walked into it. I was like, hang on a minute. This map doesn't quite make much sense. Unfortunately, it's all trinkets, which I do not care about. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing a frame rate drop from Libra there. Don't know why I decided to press that before killing these guys. I kind of forgot how it worked, but there you go. 
Right, we've almost got Eden's Blessing. Um, I can't exactly remember how it works. I'm just going to take a look. I can never remember if it's angel items or items from the pool that you're in. Um, spawns two random items, pedestals for the item of the current pool. Okay. So we definitely want to save it for a secret room. Two items from a secret room could be super valuable. Um, although, we don't have... I guess we don't have them unlocked. We're playing with Dead God. What am I about? We have, we have all of them unlocked. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing like a significant bit of lag here. I don't know what's going on. But I've just noticed that whenever we use Dark Arts, we get a temporary all stats up, which is pretty fun. Okay. You guys need to calm down. Whoa! That guy just did like a mega leap. Oh, tears up, baby. That's an all stats up for us. I can see forever, very nice. Relax. Experimental pill, luck upgrade, very nice. Oh, that was beautiful. And then Eden's Blessing is ready. So we got actually something pretty good here. We got the D-Infinity, um, which I will use the D6 here. Room back, do you know what? I'll take room back. I realize I could probably reroll a few more times and get some better stuff. Uh, but yeah, D Infinity is pretty fun. We can uh, use the D1 on like soul stones or whatever. Or we can just use the D6. Okay, that was a bit close. Yeah, I am getting like really, really bad frame drops right now. Anyone knows what that's about, let me know. Very good item there. Unfortunately, we got a devil deal, which is a little annoying. I'm going to uh, pretend we didn't because I just can't afford it right now. Uh, I'm going to continue through this floor, though, because I think there's a bit more we could do. And as you can clearly see, there is some good stuff available to us. I like these little puzzle rooms here. Like, when once you know them, they're a piece of piss. Like, they're, they're, not, they're not even really a puzzle at all. It's just a free black art. But it's one of those things for like, for, like new players where you're not, they're not always going to immediately know what the hell's going on. And they're going to think, oh, well, I need flight to get that. And I don't know, maybe by like placing bombs randomly, it kind of teaches people some of these different aspects of the game uh, that people might not know about early on. I think that's a good thing, definitely. Oh, look at those stats, baby. Look at those stats. And we just got enough to get ourselves an item from the shop as well. So let's check that out. We got the ladder here. I'm actually more inclined to just buy some HP, to be honest. Um, we are lacking a little bit in that front. Let's just grab that and be on our way. Still going to check out these other rooms as well. Because I was just about to say we haven't found a second secret room yet. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And we got ourselves a tinted rock here. I was going to try and get these guys to blow it up. But honestly, we've got so many bombs, it doesn't matter. Hey, we got ourselves a chest. And we got ourselves false PhD. Which is um, a pretty interesting one to get. I don't even know how false PhD works with um, Luckfoot. Hello. Um, so we will indeed smelt this bad boy. And then we'll take a look what else is uh, what else is there and worth maybe smelting. All locked chests will spawn um, as unlocked cursed doors. I'm going to take that and find out what that means. Cursed doors. Hmm. So it doesn't seem to have done anything at the moment. I mean, I'm hoping it's not some like cheeky shit where it's just like you walk through a door and sometimes it hurts you because that would be some BS. Do you know what? I will check out this devil deal now that I've got this amount of health. Um, I think, I think Dark Bomb's worth it. I probably should have killed you first, but there you go. I think Dark Bomb's worth it. Um, and I will reroll you. I'm going to take that too. It's a risk, I realize, but I'm kind of happy to go for it. Um, and let's continue onwards. In fact, let's, before we continue onwards, let's make sure that we have um, all of these red hearts suck it up. A th take that. Just to try and get some extra black arts. If he gives us one black art here, yeah, there you go. We're in the money. I think we've got some really good items set up now. We're in a pretty good position. I think even with Libra, we're in a pretty good position. I think Fruitcake's going to carry us for the most part, so we don't have to worry too much. Our fire rate and damage are both pretty decent. 
Um, let's go down to the next floor. And yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it only works on rooms you haven't seen before with this cursed doors thing. Hmm. I'm not noticing any sort of difference in the doors. Okay. Um, let me let me try and take a, a, another look at maybe what this does. Encyclopedia inventory. All do all locked doors will spawn unlocked. Oh, I just read it wrong. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, that's actually fine. Um, I thought it meant all cursed chests spawn as unlocked, but then we have some cursed doors. I just read it really, really wrong. So, essentially now, we have unlimited keys because, uh, well, at least for doors, because we can use dark arts to get it. Yeah, there you go, look. Okay, that's actually a really cool trinket. Uh, I feel like a lot of the time it's going to be useless, but on this character specifically, it's pretty good. Although we did get an item that is genuinely the biggest trash you've ever seen, so that's unfortunate. But we can always reroll it, so don't worry. Um, yeah. That's just a, an active that turns everything into champions and doesn't even seem to give them their champion drops. So it's, yeah, it's pretty useless. But yes, um, we can at least re-roll it. So I will try and do that. Although I'll probably go for my angel deal first. Hello, host. I don't mind you guys being there. That's whatever. Uh, I'll probably do my, uh, try and go for my angel deal first. Or actually, we're locked into devil deals now, aren't we? I should have already thought about that before my, uh, before locking myself out from doing my angel uh, key piece thing. That was a little silly. I mean, I suppose if I get a lot of health, I could do it on a sack room. But it'd have to be a lot of health. Got a battery there. I'll take it. Right. I, I kind of want to play this dude, but I'm a little worried about doing so. I don't know how to effectively... Do you know what? Can I do this? It's it's very risky. I feel like I'm sliding around all over the place. We get the bean, which is definitely another reroll, I think. If we get the opportunity to do so. A lot of enemies here I don't like the look of. And a host. Exactly what I was hoping for. This enemy that I literally can't reach, so I'm just going to bomb him. Wow, that's a lot of bombs. Thank you. I heard that I was using bombs and was like, oh. You'd like some more, would you? You'd like some more? Well, why don't you have it? Why don't you have some more? There you go. Ah, we got a planetarium. I was like, oh, it's a cash room. I was like, wait, no, it's not. It lied to me. Hey, we've got a soul of Isaac there as well. Um, right, so let's... Actually, let's grab the soul of Isaac real quick. In fact, let's grab the soul of Isaac and let's go and um, charge up our active before we head in here because there's plenty of planetarium items that I don't care about. It'd be nice to get one that I do care about. Um... Don't really care about that. I will crack this open just for the charges. Oh my god. Calm down, you big rolly balls. That guy got frozen. I goddamn fruitcake is just the best. Anyone that disses on fruitcake has to fight me. Ooh, but. What about the self damage? That that's one of the major complaints I I hear when people are when I say like fruit kicks one of the best items in the game. People are like, oh, but what about the self damage? Shut! It's like such a low chance for that to happen. Just shut. So this is exactly why we wanted to get rid of this. So first of all, Soul of Isaac. Saturnus is pretty dope. I think I'll take Saturnus. I quite like Saturnus. It does introduce a little more lag to our uh, otherwise pure self, but I'll accept that. Yeah, good. Goddamn, we have so many rifts going off. 
There's a few there's a few people that also don't like the rift item as well, but to them I say, but what about the style? It's so stylish. It's so cool. Just leave it be. Don't judge. Not secret room. Ah, oh, I've already found secret room. I'm a bit of a stupid. Yeah, I don't know what's over this way, but I'm heading over this way nonetheless. Yeah, I think the fact that Saturnus gives you, like, a guaranteed eight tiers is so nice. Up in here. Oh, this is, actu this is actually the curse room. Okay. Okay. Ah, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Soul Blue Baby's kind of trashy. Anyways, let's let's go back over this way. I might play a sack room, honestly. My, I've, I've managed to get a lot of HP this floor. Um, Euthanasia, that's going to give us spun. And it's also just a really good tier effect to have. Very happy with that. Got our shop here. It's so funny that the shop is just a cursed door. Red stew, baby. Um, red stew indeed. And I'll just bomb this to see if I can get another item real quick. I'll take member's card. Why not? I should actually check it. And I, do you know what? I sh I, what's the point? I was going to say let's actually check the room, but what's the point? Because I've, I've not got enough money to make use of it anyways. Ow. Something hit me there. Wasn't really paying attention. It was probably something obvious. He probably fired a little... Corn poop at me, and I just never saw it. Wait, this... Di I'm confused. What's going on with this door? Oh! That's... That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You can get into that room for free. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this trinket. I think I think in a lot of runs it wouldn't be a very good trinket, but in this run, when you've got dark arts, it's very, very, very good. Oh my god, euthanasia plus the rifts is just very good with Saturnus. We're just planting rifts literally everywhere. Bring that death card into here at least. That did do quite a lot of damage. I was was I was wondering if it still do damage while they were under the ground. I should have known that it would. And it did bigly. It did bigly. Donation machine there. Stick you on zero. Donation machines no longer exist for me. I don't even have to fire in mushrooms anymore. Ooh, a pair throw as well. We're getting a lot of uh, abilities to reroll here. It's really nice. Um, I think we actually reroll that. Do you know what? Mother Spine's pretty good. Just because we've not got many shops left, so abundance is, like, not great. Mother's Spine is pretty nice, though. I will say that. Beautiful. Three full heart containers for the current room. Okay, that doesn't matter for us right now. This is our shop. I have to actually check the map to find out what it is. It's kind of funny. Okay, so after this, we should have enough money to buy something from our thingy shop. Ow. I pushed him right into me. We got the quarter, which I will take. Let's have a little look, see what you've got going on down here. So, I mean, this is just hopefully free money. One, two, three, four, five, six. It gave me exactly back what I paid. God damn you, game. God damn you. Right, let's reroll. No, thank you. Ooh, alabaster box, you say. Now, the question is, do I want to get rid of the D-Infinity for Alabaster Box? Probably not. I definitely think Binky's a good purchase. But yeah. Alabaster Box, eh. It's okay. I'll say no for now, though. Beautiful owl. Walked right into that one, quite literally. The Fool. I think we're pretty much set to, to beeline the boss now, aren't we? God damn. I love this room with Saturnus. It's great. Ah! A glitch card. I'll pop it. 
It gave us a, a golden battery. Do you know what? I will explore my floor just in case. Because the thing is, I kind of want to know if we have a sack room. Because I will play a sack room. I'm willing. That's almost certainly secret room. You can just tell. Burger bombs? Paper based item. I'm going to reroll. Flip. Hmm. I don't know. Flip's kind of good, but like only before Necro 2, really. I mean, it does do some good stuff after Necro 2, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that for now. In fact, maybe we could, if we don't have a sack room, maybe we could play into that golden battery a little bit, which on a floor like this might take us quite some time. But we could maybe eke out a pretty good item just for the cost of a few hearts from the secret room there. Kind of what I'm thinking. Don't care too much about that key. So we got a library. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that really wasn't worth anything right now, but could be later. Could be later. Right. Let's make our way back over. And yeah, I, I think I think with the golden battery, you can maybe make some players. The, the unfortunate problem is we are going to be tracking ourselves all around this floor if it takes any more than two or three rerolls to get something worth having. Which I'm going to guess it will. I'm willing to do it three times. Right. Back into the secret room. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. Wow, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> I'm just going to... um. Oh. Don't know why I bombed there. Okay, so we'll go space. Do you know what? That's perfect. Golden champion belt. I'll take it. A lot of extra stats. All enemies are champions now. It's fine by me. Um, do you know what? I'll actually take another charge as well. Just so I've got a charge for after the boss. We've obviously missed boss rush by quite a margin here. That is what it is. Mother, you got destroyed. We'll take that. We've not really got anything worthwhile here. We do get a pill. Which is a health up. I guess I'll go for a reroll here. We could get something good. I used the D1 by accident. Uh, spawns three shockwave lines. That's kind of interesting. Um, but unfortunately, nothing that's really worth taking. Yeah, I accidentally used the... the um, Eternal D6 by accident there. Me being silly. Right, let's pop the world card real quick. One second. Right, let's continue onwards. And remember, we're going to have a lot of champions here. A lot of champions. Which at the minute makes me glad we've not got the Eternal Champions mod active. Because this could be a bit of a rocky road otherwise. I, I, I mean, should I use a bomb or should I just hopefully fire into the wall and destroy it? There's a bomb right there, and I've got 12 already, so let's just do it. At this point, I'm just wasting yours and my own time. Um, we did get an item in here, which, again, I am willing to re-roll. Okay. The Gerdster. The Gertrude. Missing no? I'm sorry, but that's going to be a missing no from me. Take all of those, you bad boy. Another black heart for us. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you cannot pay me to take missing no on a run like this. Seems very dumb. Oh, this is a really fun run we got going on here, though. Like I said, fruitcake, compound fractures, some of my favorite items. Getting a birth on one run. That's just beautiful. It's free real estate. Right, let's go and do the um, the challenge room here. Get some more charges. I couldn't ask for a better day. Do, do, do. Generally today, though, I am having a pretty good day. I've been getting a bit frustrated at work. I won't go into details, um, but I'm working with some people that are pretty difficult to work with. Um, that are... That were specifically paying to not be difficult to work with. <laughs> and it's obviously quite frustrating. Uh, but other than that, I'm having a reasonably good day. 
I'm on kind of my lunch break at the moment. Beautiful. We got another charge here. And what are we even looking for from the curse, uh, from the secret room here? I don't even really know. I've not really got an item in mind that I want. Mask of Infamy, it's good, but it's a bit too vanilla. It's a bit too, like, passive. I want something like Mega Mush. Something that's going to give me a bit of oomph. A bit of oomph, there it is, so to say. Okay, that was... That was just run straight for the middle and hurt for the best. Chaos. Now that's got a little more of an oomph to it. Yeah, I'll take Chaos. I'll take Chaos. Why not? I know it's a little bit late in the run for Chaos to really do much. It crashed my game. <laughs> One second. Okay, we are back. We're probably going to have to replay through the floor that we just did. But we didn't do much. Yeah, we are. Okay. So we are going to have to like work our way back through the rerolls. I guess we won't take Chaos this time because apparently it crashes. Come on, you. Don't be a shit. Go away, troll bomb. Ah! Fuck you! I didn't realize that was there for some reason. I was just trying to swap my, uh, to my D6. Right. So we re-roll into missing the... We do this. Ow. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff that I feel like I shouldn't be right now. And it's not the game's fault, it's mine. Okay. Let's hopefully go back through and get some of the uh, soul hearts we got before. Also, we did use the world card last time, so I'll use that again. Why not? Because... Oh, soul of Lilith. Hello. I'll take it. Got a black heart in it for us. You dropped us another black heart, right? Yeah. Uh, you're a beautiful lad, you are. You're a beautiful lad. And one more room to finish it out. It's always annoying when the game crashes like this, but unfortunately that is modding for you. It's going to happen from time to time. I'm just going to waste bombs to speed up this process a little bit. So now it'll be... Yeah, masking for me. So how the hell did we reroll so much quicker before? We'd not completed any extra rooms, yet we'd made it a whole extra reroll. I don't really know. I, I must have used the Eternal D6 by accident one of the times. Oh, I walked right into the creep then. Makes me the creep. Oh, God. Oh, the spike... Uh, when the room's not active, why are the spikes still fucking there? God damn it. I, I thought those spikes would be, like, down because I'd finished the room. No, no, no. It shall not be so easy for me. So I've lost a lot of HP that I shouldn't have lost on this floor. I'm just going to make a bridge through the middle. I'm not dealing with these spikes again. I don't care about wasting two bombs to make this room less of a pain in the ass. Oh, my God. Saturnus is doing some weird, weird stuff. Right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We do have enough charges left for the rest of this floor. Good. I just counted it out. And whatever we get after Chaos is unfortunately what we're taking. I probably should have just gone with Mask of, Mask of Infamy at this point. It's just too dull, though. Like, it's it's good. It's a very good item. But, like, give me something saucy. Give me something with a bit of oomph to it. Soul of Isaac helps. Oh, God. Oh god, the amount of champions here. Oh lordy lordy. Health down? No thank you. Creates a trapdoor uh, to a special arcade. 
Arcade replaces member card shop if ex it exists. Okay, we've, we've got enough to do a reroll and a Soul of Isaac here, so let's go and do that. Do the Soul of Isaac first, I think. Okay. Little bit of messing around here, but I think it's worth it. I always like... I, like, I don't min-max a lot, but I do like trying to get cool items when I can. So let's uh, pop that. And what the hell have we got here? Rocks and props um, spawn two baby, baby spiders when destroyed. Uh, rocks can occasionally spawn spiders in hush rooms. Nah. Okay, that's not that's not very good either. Unfortunately. I thought it was. Ha ha. Small rock. Ooh yeah. I think I used the wrong D6 again, so it's on a two-room charge. But that actually works in our favor, so don't worry about it. Just do these two small rooms here. One. And... Da -da 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 -da. As long as it's a combat room, that is. It is good. Two. One more reroll. Let's go. The last reroll. Secret rooms can be very fickle. Sometimes you get some really interesting stuff. Other times it's it's like pulling teeth. It's very difficult to get something good. I mean, like I said, we've had good items, but I want an interesting item. And do you know what? That right there, that right there is both interesting and very good with Saturnus. I'm, I'm happy with that. Now we've got a bit more of a protective shield. I did hurt myself there because I was firing with fruitcake. Don't fire while walking through doors, kids. Don't cry while walking through a door. Or you're gonna have a bad time. You're dead. I'll dark out you. I've not really been using dark arts for combat reasons recently. But then again, with this run, you can kind of probably see why. Let's just make sure we don't take too much really stupid damage here. We're only on Utero 1 so far. We did get a black heart there. Very nice. I think that's from the virus, maybe? I don't know. I'm happy to have it nonetheless. And we get meat. I'm actually pretty happy, happy with meat as well. The uh, stat ups are very minuscule, but the HP is nice. We've actually got a dark arts into our arcade here. We do have an item in here. It's not a good item, but I'll I'll, uh, I'll go for it anyways because we're not going to spend our money on anything else this run. Saturnus tears are uh, leaving us. Unfortunately, all the money in the world can't buy you Pokemon Go. Remember that uh, that bloody I play Pokemon Go every day song? That was, that's a blast of the past. That yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like that that doesn't feel that long ago, but that was like years ago now. That was like what like five, six years ago now? Maybe maybe not that long. I don't know. It was it still feels like it was a re really long time ago. Uh, well, no, it feels like it wasn't that long of a time time ago, but it is actually comparatively quite a long time ago. Time do be strange like that. Suck your bus. Boy, oi, 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 oi. Spawn six glitch pickups to cycle between different pickups until picked up. Justice. Oh, Lord. Just grab what we can. I got a lot of batteries. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with a lot of batteries. Hey, a cross base. Interesting room again. I'll reroll this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with Swarm. Oh my god, Succubus looks awesome. I, I clearly haven't had Succubus since I got the uh, Resprite mods going on. And he is looking quite swagalicious today. Bacano. What was it this did? Use the forget me now effect. I swear. Ipecac. You silly gooses. The like, balance? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, That might, it's not too unbalanced, I guess, but personally for my taste, that's a bit strong. I'm, I, I'm, I'm very quick to jump to calling things overpowered, I realise. I call things overpowered a lot, but it's usually because they are. <laughs> it's usually because I'm right, you're wrong, no. But seriously though, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. there's not really any of these that I want desperately, so maybe I do a reroll here and get Death Scythe, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Yes, indeed, I am very happy with that. I pop through here. Yeah, the scythes are going to be very good for shielding us from projectiles here. Very good indeed. Wow, that's a lot of soul stones. What on... Wait a minute. What on earth happened in this room? That's like... A lot of soul stones. Like, way too many soul stones. Soul of Lilith. Yeah, I don't really know what happened here. But something went down. Come on, you. Don't be a dick. Definite reroll. Lusty Blood's way better. Thank you. I'll come back for you, card. This room got kind of crazy. But this this is one of the reasons I really like Fruitcake, because that was the doing of Fruitcake, I'm pretty sure. Fruitcake caused some craziness. Ow. Gotta be careful, I'm getting hit way too much at the minute. Hierophant card that'll save me? No. And Scratch card will save me? And Hierophant card will save me? Justice card will save me. You know what? Not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, We got this bad boy, which I'll just pop here. We got an extra treasure room there. Uh, copies the effects of the most recently used pill card, active rune soul stone. Hmm. Okay. Do some re-rolling here, I guess. Oh, you bastard! I am the dumbest motherfucker in the entire planet. I don't know if you saw what just happened, but it was it was genuinely tragic. I couldn't see very well because of the sheer amount of locusts and flies surrounding me that I... Do you know what I'll say? Quad shot. I couldn't see because of the sheer amount of stuff around me that I walked past the machine by accident, accidentally picking up decap attack, and then accidentally sidestepping after realizing my mistake, it re-rolling on one coin and thus destroying my D-Infinity. That's what we call... A gargantuan failure. Mission failed, boys. We'll get them next time. Um, I think I'm still gonna... I've got so much to go at here, but I think I'm still gonna um, use... What's it called? I've not been to this room before, apparently. Oh, this is a red room, that's why. Oh my god, my health is real bad. Experimental pill. I want the, the foiled card here. The tears up. You better drop me a black heart soon, fella. I'm in need. Okay, you went. You went bye bye. I got hit again. I keep getting hit by random explosions. I'm stupid. I think we're fine though. Don't worry about it. We, we won't die. I'm sure. I'm not sure. Why is this a cash room that's not a cash room? What the hell? What room is this? It's a... It's just a regular room. Excuse me? Are you okay again? That's not a special room. It's not a locked room. I don't know what this... So, I'm probably going to end up hurting myself quite a bit from here on out. Just because of the sheer amount of tears that surround me that I can't control. That was a HP down as well, so that's good. Ooh, this could be... This could be good. Two trinkets so far. In fact, I will take the uh, the cricket's leg trinket. Not a single soul heart out of all of these. Okay, there you go. There's one. Okay, there's a few. There's a... There we go. Beautiful. Give me back my fool card. 
Okay, while not the not the greatest in the world, we somewhat saved ourselves from tragedy here. I just can't see anymore. Sight has um, has disappeared from me. Sight is not a luxury that I have. I will just accept that, I guess. Health up. Black heart. A card. It's not a black heart, it's a card. There was, was that a big boy pill that I saw in here? I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a big boy pill. My god. I mean, there's a sack room <laughs> if we get enough health. If we get enough health, the deal's on. Ah, yeah, it doesn't look like you're going to get enough health, though, does it? I managed to kill a lot of these enemies before killing the guys that make them enemies invincible, which is kind of funny. Oh, my God. We are wrecking things right now. Black heart, beautiful. Oh, Tinted Rock there as well. So you're saying there's a chance... So you're saying there's a chance. Damn it. That's just bits of paper. Those chests seem real common, by the way. I'm getting them a lot. Okay. Got hit by myself again. It's going to keep happening with this amount of tears, to be fair. Black doll unlocked. There's a black heart for us. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not completing our key. I'm just going to say that now. What we can do, however, is go boom, bow, boom, bow. Unfortunately, all quite trash. And then do that. Get another few chests. Game did not like that. Oh, tech zero. Pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. Tech zero's up down damage to insane levels now. Also, I think tech zero can trigger our fruitcakes, so uh, even better. Although, I feel like this is just even more visual clutter for me to kill myself randomly. I feel like that's going to happen regularly. I think the best, honestly, solution is to not shoot when we enter a room and just let Saturnus do everything. Oh my god. He's dead. Judas' this kiss unlocked as well. There you go. A bunch of stuff unlocked. Solar came. I had to try it. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's going to cut it short there at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.